so friends let me move on to set number four on the topic algebra right so friends here is question number 15 if a is equal to 2 plus root 3 divided by 2 minus root 3 and b is equal to 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 plus root 3 so find the value of a square plus b square plus a b so friends listen here friends by keeping this two value we need to find what is the answer for a square plus b square plus a b so friends if you are brilliant you can directly substitute the value of a here and you should square the number right and similarly you can directly substitute the value of b but my method is listen here friends if here it is 2 a b then we can say that the formula will be a plus b the whole square right friends listen here a square b square if it is 2 a b then we can directly say that the formula is a plus b the whole square but here it is not 2 a b but here it is plus a b right so friends listen here friends listen carefully a plus b the whole square is equals to a square plus b square plus 2 a b right but in the given expression we have only a b so friends i am just going to write this expression as listen carefully friends plus a b and plus a b right 2 a b is equal to plus a b and plus a b right i am just going to bring this one term that is a b towards left hand side so this can be written as a plus b the whole square so minus a b is equals to a square plus b square plus a b so friends finally we can say that a square plus b square plus a b which is equal to a plus b the whole square into a b so by keeping both the values our target to find what is a plus b and also what is a into b so friends listen here friends first of all let me find what is a plus b so a plus b is equal to 2 plus root 3 divided by 2 minus root 3 plus b is equal to 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 plus root 3 so friends i think uh, first of all let me take lcm right so when we take lcm this will be 2 plus root 3 the whole square so 2 plus root 3 the whole square plus and here it is 2 minus root 3 the whole square so divided by so friends this looks like a format called a minus b and a plus b right so a square minus b square so a square that is 2 square will be 4 and b square that is root of 3 square will be 3 so 4 minus 3 the denominator will be 1 so we don't want to bother about the denominator right so finally 2 plus root 3 the whole square plus 2 minus root 3 the whole square so this looks like a format called a plus b the whole square right so a square that is 4 so b square that is 3 so plus 2 into a into b right so similarly here it is a minus b the whole square so a square will be 4 and b square will be 3 so minus of 2 into a into b so friends here it is plus 2 into 2 root 3 and here it is minus 2 into 2 root 3 so we can cancel both the term friends so 4 plus 3 will be 7 so 7 plus 7 will be 14 so we can say that a plus b will be 14 right so finally we got an answer that is a plus b will be 14 next our target to find what is the value of a b so friends listen here friends i think we have uh, the denominator itself we have calculated what is the value of a b right resultant will be 1 or otherwise if you want to understand this listen here friends a into b right so a into b will be 2 plus root 3 divided by here it is 2 minus root 3 so 2 minus root 3 similarly here it is 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 plus root 3 so we can directly cancel both the terms similarly we can cancel both the terms the resultant answer a b will be 1 so friends finally we got the answer that is a b is equal to 1 and a plus b is equal to 14 now our target to substitute the values here to find what is the value of that expression right so friends listen carefully friends so a plus b the whole square we know that a plus b will be 14 so 14 square so minus of and here it is a b right so we know that a b will be minus 1 so 14 square will be 196 196 minus 1 the resultant answer will be 195 so finally we can say that answer for question number 15 that is 195 question number 16 so if 2 root x is equals to root of 5 plus 3 divided by root of 5 minus 3 and similarly minus of root 5 minus 3 divided by root 5 plus 3 so our target to find what is the value of x right so friends i think only way is we need to simplify this expression no other way right so this can be written as 2 root x and i think we can take lcm friends so when we take lcm so this can be written as root of 5 minus root 3 so into root of 5 plus root 3 so this can be written as root of 5 plus root of 3 the whole square so minus of a root of 5 minus a root of 3 the whole square so friends here it is 2 root x right so here it is 2 root x is equal to so this looks like a format called a plus b the whole square friends so first of all a square right so root of 5 the whole square will be 5 
and b square so root of 3 the whole square will be 3 so plus 2 into a b friends i think uh, a will be root 5 b will be root 3 so when we multiply both the numbers the resultant will be root of 15 so similarly here it is uh, a minus b the whole square so a square will be 5 so b square will be 3 so minus of 2 a b right so 2 into root 5 into root 3 so this can be written as 2 root 15 so divided by and uh, this looks like a format a minus b and a plus b that is a square minus b square so a square that is root of 5 square will be 5 and b square that is root of 3 whole square will be 3 so 5 minus 3 the denominator will be 2 right so friends i think uh, Listen here friends, here it is 5 and here it is minus of 5. So we can cancel 5 and 5, right? Similarly, here it is 3, here it is minus into plus 3 will be minus 3. So here it is plus 3 and here it is minus 3. So we can cancel both the terms. So numerator will be 2 root 15 and here it is minus into minus will be plus. So plus 2 root 15 divided by 2 is here it is 2 root x. So 2 root x is equal to 2 root 15 plus 2 root 15 will be 4 root 15. So divided by 2, so when we cancel this, the resultant will be 2. So finally, we can say that 2 root x is equal to 2 root 15. So when we cancel 2 and 2, so finally, we got x is equal to root 15, right? But our target to find value of x, right? But we have found what is root x is equal to 15. But our target to find what is the value of x. So we can directly say that we can cancel root and root. So finally, we can say that the value of x will be 15. So friends, finally we got an answer that is x is equal to 15, which is for question number 16. Question number 17. If a is equal to root 3 minus root 2 divided by root 3 plus root 2 and b is equal to root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2, but our target to find what is the value of that expression, right? So a square divided by b plus b square divided by a. So friends, listen here friends. First of all, uh, I think let me simplify that expression friends. Listen here. The expression is a square divided by b plus b square divided by a. I think when we take LCM as a b, so this can be written as a cube plus b cube, right? So finally, we need to find an answer that is a cube plus b cube divided by a b. I think everyone knows what is the formula for a cube plus b cube, right? While solving set number 1 itself, I have told you this formula, right? So a cube plus b cube will be a plus b the whole cube. So minus of 3ab into a plus b. So friends, listen carefully. You need to buy out this formula. No other way, friends. So while solving, I think set number 1 or set number 2, we have already seen many different questions like this, right? So friends, our only target is we need to find what is a plus b and also what is a b. So after finding all the values, if we substitute here, so we can find the value of that expression. So friends, listen here, friends. First of all, a plus b, right? So we need to add both the values. So a plus b is equal to root 3 minus root 2 divided by root 3 plus root 2 and here it is root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2 when we take lcm so this can be written as root 3 plus root 2 so here it is root 3 minus root 2 right so when we take calcium so this becomes root 3 minus root 2 the whole square so plus root 3 plus root 2 the whole square so friends listen here friends similar to the previous question right here the denominator is a plus b a minus b that is a square minus b square so a square that is root 3 square will be 3 and b square that is root 2 square will be 2 so 3 minus 2 will be 1 so we don't want to bother about the denominator right so let me concentrate only on the numerator friends so it is a minus b the whole square so a square will be root of 3 square will be 3 and b square will be root of 2 square will be 2 so 3 plus 2 will be 5 and similarly we get 5 here so 5 plus 5 will be 10 so finally we can say that a plus b will be 10 right so next is we need to find what is the value of a into b so friends listen here friends we can directly find here right so when we need to find what is a into b so we can directly cancel root 3 minus 2 root 3 minus 2 and similarly we can cancel root 3 plus 2 root 3 plus 2 so finally we got an answer that is a b is equal to 1 so now our target what is the we need to find what is the value of that expression right so we have simplified the expression like this so a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b the whole cube we know that a plus b will be 10 so 10 cube will be 1000 so this can be written as 1000 so next is minus of 3 into so friends 3 into a b you know that value of a b will be 1 and here it is a plus b will be 10 so finally this can be written as 1000 
minus of 30 so this will be 970 so finally we got a cube plus b cube will be 970 and the denominator a b will be 1 so finally we can say that answer for this expression will be 970 right so one of the interesting questions so friends always remember that if you need to crack a question in algebra only way you need to buy out all the formulas the last 18th question and set number 4 if x is equal to root 3 by 2 and we need to find what is the value of that expression right so friends listen here friends uh, first of all we know what is the value of x right so x is equal to root 3 by 2 so first of all let me find what is 1 plus x so 1 plus x will be 1 plus uh, root 3 divided by 2 and uh, finally this can be written as 2 plus root 3 divided by 2 right so finally we have calculated what is 1 plus x but here it is 1 plus so root of 1 plus x right so when we calculate what is root of 1 plus x the resultant will be 2 plus root 3 divided by 2 so friends listen carefully friends while solving many questions in set number 1 set number 2 and set number 3 i am repeatedly saying one concept if you find an expression like this so we need to convert the expression in terms of a plus b the whole square or a minus b the whole square right so but uh, listen here friends our target to convert the numerator in terms of a plus b the whole square so friends i am just going to write this expression as listen carefully 2 plus uh, root 3 divided by 2 into 2 divided by 2 so friends in numerator and denominator i am multiplying by 2 so finally this can be written as 2 into 2 will be 4 so friends here it is 4 so 2 into root 3 will be plus 2 root 3 so divided by here it is 2 into 2 will be 4 so friends this 4 can be written as 3 plus 1 right so 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3 divided by 4 so friends finally we have converted this expression in terms of a plus b the whole square listen here friends a square plus b square plus 2 a b right so this can be written as the numerator part can be written as 1 square that is a square root of 3 square that is b square so plus 2 into a b so divided by i think uh, root of 4 friends root of 4 will be 2 so finally we can say that the denominator will be 2 so friends the numerator will be root 3 plus 1 the whole square so the numerator can be written as root 3 plus 1 the whole square divided by 2 so we can cancel root and square so finally for the first term that is a root of 1 plus x we got the answer that is a root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 so friends the second term is 1 minus root x if 1 plus root x is equal to root 3 plus 1 by 2 then we can surely say that the root of 1 minus x will be root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 i think finally we need to add both the equation right so here it is root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 so plus root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 i think we can easily cancel plus 1 and minus 1 so here it is root 3 and root 3 so this can be written as 2 root 3 divided by 2 so when we cancel 2 and 2 so finally we got an answer that is last 18th question in set number 4 that is root 3 so friends always remember that many times i am repeatedly saying one concept is you need to buy out the formula and second important thing if you find an expression like this always remember try to convert this expression in terms of a plus b the whole square or a minus b the whole square